Good morning. I'm sitting at my computer, but I'm letting the phone do the recording. It's a little better quality. Um, I've got a good phone. I've got a good computer. It's just that the, the camera's better on the phone. So, I'm going to take a sip. Uh, not weight information, life information right now. I have been, as you may know, trying to get a job as a substitute teacher. Um, first, I went through some agency that really misrepresented what they were. They uh, basically really only had uh, substitute caregiver positions at pre-kindergartens and they didn't pay very well and they weren't conveniently located. So it was a lot of commuting for not a lot of pay. Then I went through um, the school district for where I lived and huge bureaucracy, a couple errors made on forms and everything. And that's still proceeding along, chugging along. Um, now I am trying to get into the school district where my children go to school. Because I have moved, that's actually going to be more convenient. So I could drop them at school, teach at a school, and then go pick them up from their school. So whatever. Um, confused again by the bureaucracy. Uh, actually left a message with uh, somebody at the school district. They got back to me. And so it looks like that may be streamlined a little bit in part because of the process that's currently happening at the Woodland School District. Now, it happens to be there at the same county, and so they seem to think that the county is going to be getting, the Woodland District is going to get some special county emergency authorization. That would then apply as well to the other school district. So I could work at the other school district with the same authorization. So um, we're going to get that process happening. And it's a big step. I'm not sure I can physically manage it. Um, I can get to the school. I can get to the classroom. I can sit in the classroom. Honestly, my major concern has to do with my small bladder uh, and the ability to take sufficient restroom breaks. Um, so we'll see. It's, it's an experiment. If it works, it works. Um, if it really works very well, we may be able to turn this uh, into a career because at one point that was kind of a career path I was headed towards. So potentially good news, certainly news headed in the right direction. Um, I keep you up to date on the wait when the wait is got updates to give. So, Today, I'm going to talk a bit about legs. Um, I think it's a pretty common issue for people who are extremely overweight, which is uh, leg swelling, uh, swollen legs. Um, edema is the fancy word. Fluid retention in the legs. It has to do with circulation. Very common in people who are very much overweight. Um, there's a things you can do about it. And again, this is not medical advice. This is my experience. Please feel free to consult a doctor. Please do consult a doctor. Um, fluid retention. There's not a lot of things you can do about it. You can, uh, one thing is compression, which is stockings or bandages that squeeze it. Be careful of that. Squeeze it too much. You make yourself more prone to things like blood clots. So, there's that issue. Um, compression. To stop the fluid building up and to push the fluid out. Uh, walking, but this is proper walking. Um, you know, with your ankles moving, with your knees moving, uh, because of the way the valves are set up in your leg. The kind of return valves are sort of one way, and, and you kind of, by walking, you're actually sort of pumping the fluid back up. The proper walking. And if you have bad legs and bad knees, especially, you tend to waddle more than walk. And that actually doesn't help. Um, one of the worst things you can do is just sit. Um, the, you know, sit with your legs sort of basically 90 degrees is, is bad. And standing uh, is also fairly bad. Um, so the other, the other good thing that you can do is to keep your legs elevated. But to properly keep them elevated, they have to be above the level of your heart, which means you basically have to lay down. So it's kind of 
bad because it it can be very serious. You, you can make you prone to more things like cellulitis, which is a very terrible infection uh, just below the skin. Um, and in order to have your legs above your heart, you have to basically be inactive. You have to be lying down. So it's part of why it's difficult for very large people to lose weight. And the fluid in, in the leg weighs a lot. You can easily have a gallon of fluid in your leg. Well, that's eight pounds just of fluid weight. Um, so if you have that issue, you need to be in contact with a doctor. You need to make sure you're taking proper care of it. And it's just another issue that sort of is a barrier to real weight loss once you're this big. This channel is about my journey, my personal journey as a real human being who is extremely obese. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I haven't lied about the numbers. I haven't lied about who I am. It's not meant to be some miracle weight loss uh, instruction. I make no pretense of that. I am trying to improve how I eat and improve how I move. I have limitations in that, especially in how I move. Um, I'm not going to starve myself. I'm not going to work myself to exhaustion every day. That's the sort of thing that happens in shows like uh, The Biggest Loser. And if you look at long term, they actually haven't had a great success. Um, and study after study has shown that um, pushing yourself beyond reason will cause you to lose weight, but it will come back and often come back plus more. I am simply trying to figure out how to adjust my lifestyle to be healthier with the overall goal to be a weight loss, because that is the biggest health issue I have. I knew when I started this channel that there would be naysayers, that there would be people who don't like fat people and who would take it as an excuse to attack me. And I'll take that attack. Um, fat people are people. Fat people are people struggling with health issues. And you could say they're self-created health issues. Uh, I would argue no more than someone who smokes, does drugs, or goes downhill skiing, or rides a motorcycle. Um, I am what I am. I am where I am. I am as fat as I am. That's where I need to start. I cannot go back in time. I cannot change that. I can only change the present and hope to change the future. That's what this channel is about. Do I want sympathy? No, I don't want sympathy. I, I would like support. I would like to know that people are out there. Partly the mere creation of this channel kind of forces me to stay on a certain track because I have people watching me. I've made it public. That's not an easy thing to do. So yes, I'm not losing weight quickly. And yes, I have failures. I am a human being. I share those failures. I want people to know, especially those people who may be going through a similar struggle, that they are not alone, that it can be done, that I am human. If I was eating 1,200 calories a day and running two miles, first of all, I couldn't run two miles, my knees, I have literally no cartilage in my knees. It's been confirmed by a podiatrist or orthopedic surgeon. Anyway, if I were to do all that and I were to have wonderful success, that success would be discarded not considered by the very people who need to know how to be healthier. Those exceptional cases of losing a hundred pounds in six months, 
um, they don't happen. And when they do happen, they often in the future result in failure. Um, I want long-term success. I want to do this without surgery. Among other things, I have to lose at least a hundred pounds before I can get the surgery. Um, so I figure at that point, I might as well continue and lose 200 pounds. And at that point, I'm going to continue to lose 300 pounds. And at that point, I've pretty much reached a goal. So please continue watching. Uh, if you want to hate, you can hate. If you want to send me tips, I'll probably ignore them, but I'll read them. So I am glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here. I intend to continue to be here. Good morning. It's Saturday again. Uh, I'm sitting outside. It's not, it's, it's chilly, but nice. I kind of like chilly. Uh, I'm in California in the valley, so it doesn't get too, too cold. Um, and I'm from Canada, so I don't mind cold. Coffee for the morning. Uh, did my weight. And it was 517.6. Um, which is good. It's a little milestone past getting rid of the 20s. Um, five pound loss, which is also good. I did some math on my sort of mini goal, uh, milestone goal, I guess, of trying to be down 100 pounds by the time the church camp rolls around again. And it's not that bad. It's only about 2.6, 2.7 um, pounds per week. So I've decided I'm going to try to change my my mental state to concentrate on weekly goals. Um, and that's maybe a good plan. Like set an interim goal, like I did of 100 pounds by the church camp, and then figure out what that is weekly and make that just a weekly goal. And just concentrate on the weekly goal <sighs> because it's a huge, huge goal that I have overall. Now, um, there was a saying once, and I'm probably going to get it wrong, but it was a man said he was going to eat a mountain. And everyone said, how on earth are you going to eat that mountain? And the man said, one bite at a time. And so I guess that's how you've got to deal with the massive weight losses. One, one bit at a time, one week at a time. So uh, it's going to be a weekly goal. And hopefully I can get my mind around that and, and it won't seem as, as daunting. Um... Please continue to watch these videos. Please share these videos if you know someone who might be interested in just uh, voyeurism, who might be uh, going through some sort of similar struggle, who just needs to know they're not alone. Please share. Please uh, give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Please comment. I mean, we've gotten more comments. I've gotten some negative comments. I've gotten some people defending me. Uh, I've gotten some positive comments. Um, I read them all, and please subscribe. Um, I'm not going to ever, you know, hit 10,000. I think I'm around 110 or something. So it's not, it's not going to take off and go viral. If it does, hooray. Uh, but that's not my goal. My goal is to try to keep myself on track, to let people know what's happening, uh, to hopefully be entertaining and informative. One thing I will say about living out here is that there isn't convenient food delivery. Um, I don't think there's any food delivery. It is a small town. They do have restaurants and, and stuff, but they don't have drive throughs and they don't have, I can't just click on Uber Eats. So a certain easy temptation is gone, which I think is helping. Um, so you have to be more conscious of what you're eating if you have to cook it yourself. Um, and I have, do have some sort of snack foods in the house, but not especially. The things like, like uh, frozen burritos and, and that, which is mostly for the, for the kids. I have teenage girls, and they snack. If you have teenagers, you know they snack. So there are snack things, but I am, I'm leaving them for them. Um, but I can still make myself a sandwich. Um, and if I do that too much, that's a lot of bread. So I'm, I'm, I've got to, you know, keep that in my mind. And that's really what this how my approach has been to not starve myself, not put myself into a routine that is not going to be kept up,
but to figure out ways to change my thinking, to change my habits, to make them into habits. Um, you know, so small steps. And like I said, now I'm going to try to con concentrate on weekly goals. Thank you again. I'm going to end it now. And then, of course, I'm going to finish my coffee and figure out the editing. <laughs>